today's interfaces are so difficult that almost inhuman. People want to cut a wide variety of materials with their cutting machine. And in order to do that, they need to adjust the pressure, the speed, the depth. Ah, it's frustrating. And people had their own crib sheets and, and cheat sheets they would share with each other on here's the best setting for this material or that material. The challenge for the new cricket was to make it so that people didn't have to be process engineers to do cutting. The number of different pieces that had to be debated and focused on and understood and approached from a few different angles and prototyped, you know, it boggles your mind. As part of our design process, we collected all this knowledge and we brainstormed a number of things that we'd, we'd do differently, there would be improvements, and we boiled that down to three or four architectures that we really wanted to focus on. We actually ended up building uh, three different prototypes. Our first prototype was not the one that worked out the best. It didn't have the repeatability and the precision that we were looking for. So we went back to the drawing board again and iterated on the design, uh, improved the process, retested, and we actually found the architecture that we have today and it meets our requirements for precision, repeatability, and simplicity for the user so they can focus on cutting and we'll focus on making the machine work well. You'll be surprised at like the levels of things that we have to focus on in the end. So, you know, we have magnifying glasses out looking at the details of the print. We'll go in there and we'll understand like how the door should open. Should they latch on one side? Should they latch on both sides? So we're trying to do all the thinking in the background so that when you finally get the product, it looks simple. It looks like the, uh, the design just came to be and that's just the way it should be.